What is going on everybody? New project. So this is kind of the room where I keep obviously all my prints. I need more room for knowing what I have on hand. I use the pegboard so I have a visual quick representation of what I have on hand. Can kind of keep my inventory updated a little easier. Whoa, hold that back. Um, problem is the pegboard, I don't even have all my stuff on there yet. And as you can see, I am basically out of room. I got a little bit and a little, that's actually all should be full of headers. So if I actually had all my stuff ready to be on the wall, I'm out of room. I can't stand looking at this mess any longer. So it's time to start straightening some things out. Here's the new plan. I'm going to put a pegboard on this wall to give me another four by eight sheet to work with. Because I've constantly got new projects in mind. I'm trying to get new ones coming out. So I'm going to keep needing more and more space. So I'm going to get a pegboard on this wall. I'm going to redo this one because I built these stands behind it. So that I could take the whole thing with me to shows. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep taking my boxes or my tubs over there with prints to shows. So that way my true pegboard can stay in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those stands out, mount this flat against the wall, mount that guy up there as well, and then build a table right here strictly for packing and shipping. Because right now I just keep using stuff over here or stuff over there. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of prints over there that need packaged. I've, I've got a mess and it's driving my OCD nuts. I've got to make a little more sense of it. Now here it is, what is today, May 27th. I should be in a chopper, a corn planter, a sprayer. God only knows what else. We caught a rain out. So I'm trying to take advantage of a random day when I really don't want to do anything. It is incredibly hard to convince myself you need to get this done. So let's see how far we can get today. That made it so much darker in here. But that's awesome. Okay. So I had to get Kayla to come help me with that because I couldn't figure out how to do that by myself and not destroy things. Now, the only thing I don't like is that the middle sticks out. So that it's the wall isn't perfectly level because if, if I push that back, it's like flexed. I think it'll be okay. I guess the one thing I do need to check since I'm only using them one by twos behind it is clearance for these where there's a wall behind it. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. And there's definitely clearance where the windows are. So, one down, one to go. Let's get that one stripped so that way I can redo all of it. Pegboard number two done. Got the seam pretty well realigned. Notched out a spot for the light switch. I don't know why it took me more than 10 seconds to think of the word light switch. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of the stuff back on. Um, really need to get the next table made. But that is going to have to wait till at least tomorrow because it's already 4 o'clock. i got to go on a crop tour with the neighbor. Figure out some silage stuff. So depending on whether I'm in a planner tomorrow or I'll just catch you guys in the next rain out. Either way, for you guys, see you in a second. Okay, I know for you guys it was only like about a two second transition there. For me that was like a two week evolution. You'll never believe how much I got done though in the two weeks. It's pretty amazing. Oh. Wow. I lied. So, I believe the last time I had the camera was the last weekend we were rained out. A week ago, we were able to chop all weekend, got rained out late on Sunday. And then now this weekend, we're down and out again. Never thought I'd be tired of moisture living in the desert, but holy crap, we got so much to do. But that's neither here nor there. I finally motivated myself to get doing something today instead of just laying around like I wanted to. Best way to spend Father's Day, right? By yourself working on projects. <laughs> so got all the boards cut, ready to put this table up. 
and then start on the boards. One other thing I did get done, I know you're going to say it's minor. Boom! The bottom boards are finally in. Got those done yesterday. That was all the more I could motivate myself to work on yesterday. So, wow, that was really dumb to shut off the light while still recording. Let's go see if we can't finish this table before I got to take the wee man to his 4-H project for the day. I don't even know what to call it. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, when you're using warp 2x4s, you can't be that upset whenever it doesn't turn out perfectly square. But I knew that going in, no big deal. Uh, I wonder if I have enough time to go cut those two boards. Be nice, because then table building would be done for this room. And until I think of the next project. But like I said, I got 4H stuff here to do in a little bit. But what I'm thinking, though, is the bottom down there is where I'll put all the boxes. Right there. This is mainly going to be for, like, opening new packages when they show up. Um, boxing up orders, going out, stuff like that. Because I've got my scale just randomly over there for shipping, packing. Oh, I need somewhere to put all my packing stuff. Maybe it'll go down there. I'll have to build a shelf for the Great. I'm already thinking of new projects and I'm not even done with this project. <sighs> I think I'm going to quit on the woodwork for today. <laughs> Can you tell my mind spins a thousand mile an hour? And start filling out the pegboards. Now I'm going to have to use the ladder, obviously. To reach some of the taller ones, because that's all the farther I can reach. I don't even know if I'm holding the camera the right way. It's all the farther I can reach by hand, so. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's take a look at how the pegboards are coming along. That's disappointing. Well, that's disappointing. That really sucks. Jesus! Guy scared the hell out of me. Um, and I scared the hell out of you. We're even. It is now 20, 23rd of July. I don't think I've spent more than 45 minutes in this house in two months. Whatever the date was, whenever I started this video, or last updated this video, at this point I've lost all track of time. So, finally, day off today. Well, kind of a day off, just got home from softball trip to texas that was interesting um gonna try and get a few things going here start brainstorming on how i want all this to work and that's just the stuff that's on top of the boxes and i got all the stuff in the boxes then i got all that stuff then i got all of that stuff there's a few things need organized it's the new pegboards right Check it out guys, they're filling in. So everything that I already had pre-packaged, ready to hang, is up on the wall. As far as I'm getting today, see if I can get in here again in a week or so, do a little bit more work, or maybe later tonight if I care. Right now I'm gonna go drive around the farm, see what we got going on. Now that all that stuff is hanging up, the next step, is to go through these boxes, see what full kits I have, get them hanging, and then from there start sorting through the parts in there and the parts here, start putting together more kits, get as much as I can on the walls, and figure it out. So that's what I'm doing. I already went through the semi-trailers, so apparently I've got more corn mills than I thought, whole bunch of combine trailers, stuff like that. Now I'm on to loader stuff. Here it is, guys. Sunday, August 5th. This video is finally coming to an end. Look at the boards. So organized. And yet so much more room for more things. So, kind of got one of my big focuses, hang equipment over here. Some random tillage stuff, some loaders, I-beams. Those have become more and more popular. Truck scales. Headers semi truck you guys know what i have i'm finally done those four boxes are empty that counter in there is finally cleared off from last christmas everything you see on this bench is parts 
not enough to make a full kit. That's why they're all kind of laid out here. Some of them need pieced together, whatever. The video's finally done. Oh, this is, this is nice. Now I got a real visual representation of what I have on hand. Can hopefully keep stuff in stock better so that way when people email saying, hey, do you have one of these? And I go, no, I'll get it on order. Hopefully that'll go down. Probably won't be eliminated, but hopefully it'll be less. Either way, guys, it's finally done. It only took me three months-ish, but it's finally done. I'll catch you guys in the next one.